Y nos vamos con la esquina roja desde el norte de África, desde el RIC, aplicado en Barcelona, del gimnasio Zin Harak, con 26 peleas, 20 victorias y dos duros, campeón de Cataluña 2012, campeón de Francia 2014, campeón de Francia y de Corsica Italia 2016, y campeón del mundo en Bélgica 2017. Recibamos al gran guerrero de bebé, a Mister Yassi Yedi. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series 2018 in Spain. We are live. KOK Super Fight, weight division 63 kilograms. Red corner fight representing Morocco. Yassi. Two sixty three kilogram fighters with absolutely impeccable records. Yassin Kedi of Morocco, twenty victories, four losses and two draws to his name. A very mobile fighter inside the ring, very active fighter, and he it fights very, very often. He's always in good shape, always training in the gym, never takes a day off. Kinran of Russia, undefeated in his career, is the 24-year-old. 21 and 0, very strong Muay Thai background, and a very, very explosive, powerful fighter inside the ring.
Well, quite a little conversation there in center ring between the referee and Nabati Kimran, but we are off to the races here, letting it be known that this is not a Muay Thai rules fight where Nabati Kimran very often does fight in Thailand and in his home nation of Russia under Muay Thai rules, but this one will be under kickboxing rules. No clinching and delivering a knee with two hands. One shot allowed. I think there is a little bit of a slick spot there, right in that, right in the center of the ring, right towards the far ropes there. I did see a, a fighter or two slip in that area. Nice knee there on the inside. Boy, and the referee giving another stern warning to Kimran. There was all this discussion in there about the ropes, uh, about the, uh, the rules. Kimran again going right into the clinch. Could be a point deduction here. Maybe now he gets it. There could be a little bit of a language barrier here. I don't know if Kimran speaks English or not. And the referee, obviously her first language is Spanish. And I'm not sure her, how good her English is. Or if he even understands anything she's saying to him in English. Good low kick there from Keddy. Kimran cutting down the ring here. Unloading with some heavy artillery. He's really got that power. He's just got to break that habit, that Thai habit of going right into the clinch and grabbing behind the neck with both hands. If he does it again, for sure, it'll be a point deduction, and he can't afford that, especially at this stage of the fight. Well, this could be it. I think maybe she's had enough. The uh, corner of Kimran protesting, but referee deducting a point, and what's done is done. Artem Levin is here at ringside behind me, and he was having a little chat over there with the Russian corner about what happened. Nevertheless, What's done is done, and he's a point behind now on the cards. So even if he does win the round, it's going to be 9-9. Nine, nine. Good knee goes in there. Tags the body as well. Very hard physical battle in round one. Referee with another little heart-to-heart -heart moment there. And we are underway with round two. 
A little bit out of range with that kick, as again, Kimran always keeping the pressure on, always trying to set the pace, always trying to dictate the action which is happening inside the ring. I think they hit each other simultaneously that time, and again, he fell right in that particular area of the ring. That graphic, the fight box graphic on there, could be a little bit slick. Oh, that time he brought the knee right up to the jaw. May have done so with the hands clasped around the back of the neck, but the referee not saying anything that time. So I wonder how they did score that first round. It was obviously a point deduction. Did Kimran do enough to, to win the matchup? You can tell just by how aggressive he is. And that's, that's a scoring criteria as well, just the level of aggression and who's pushing the matchup certainly has to be in favor of Kimran. He has not slowed down a step here. He's constantly putting on pressure as, again, Keddy pointing down to the canvas. I can see right here in the blue corner where I'm seated that there is quite a bit of uh, water on the canvas in that particular part of the ring. Wow, did he uncork a knee that time. Really let him have it. Some very powerful knees there from the Russian going in. And down he goes. Referee was able to stop Kimran's forward momentum, but uh, Keddy really hit the canvas hard. You could see it all over his face when he came up. That, that was no fun at all. Referee... Stopping the contest here, I believe uh, Keddy was saying that there was a headbutt at some point in time. I didn't catch that if there was. You'd think that that would be worse for Keddy than it would be from Kimron because just by the hair he has, it's almost like he's wearing a helmet. Oh my God! What a shot! Kimron with a spinning back kick! to just knock the lights out of Chetty and knocked him halfway across the ring. For God's sake. This fight must be over. The referee is not letting the fight, does he even have his mouth guard in? What a shot that was. A picture-perfect highlight reel knockout. Wow! Look at that shot. That's something that you have to frame and put on the refrigerator for mom. Whoa. Take another look, folks. Crack! You can see the legs go stiff. Referee steps in, and this one is history. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series 2018 Spain. We are live. KOK Super Fight. At the very second round of the 231 seconds by knockout, the winner is Blue Corner Nabati Kimra, Russia. Well, it wasn't a pretty fight from the start until almost the end. <laughs> but then right there at the end, it was the prettiest thing I think I've ever seen.